Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest Tower of Life. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirement is 10 construction. The items needed is a regular beer, a hammer and a saw. You can start this quest just west of the Tower of Life, located south of East Ardoin. You will find three NPCs dressed in purple. Talk to the guy with the white hair, called Effigy. Now just keep pressing the spacebar until the conversation is over. Select the first option, sure, why not? Alright, when the conversation is over, let's go north, north of the tower. There you should find a guy next to two boxes called Bonafido. Talk to him. Alright, after the conversation is over, let's go a little bit southwest. And here you should find next to the wall a NPC called No Fingers. Talk to him. And he won't trade you the boots. Just right click on him and pickpocket. And you will either fail or get his boots. If you fail, just try again. Alright, after a couple of attempts, I got myself the builder boots. Next, let's talk to the guns, the guy that is lifting a log. Just skip through the dialogue and you will trade a shirt for a beer. Next, let's go a square northeast and you should find two NPCs. Gummy and Black Eye. Talk to Black Eye. And I will need to answer three questions. The first answer is option 3, 3. The second option is the first one, Torn Curtains. And then select the second option, 10 pieces of clay. I will now get his helmet. Once you have this helmet, let's go east of the tower. So pass a ferry ring and just go to the eastern side, actually the southeastern side. Southeast of the tower you should find three plants. Search the center one. And you will find some trousers. Equip all your builder's clothing and let's, re and let's return to the entrance of the tower to talk to Bonafido again. Talk to Bonafido. First select the second option, T. Then select the third option, Whistle for Attention. Then select the first option, When your legs are getting cold. And then the last question is the second option, carry on and fix it yourself. Next you are allowed to enter the tower, so let's do that. And now let's go to the eastern wall of the tower. Here on the eastern wall you should find three boxes. Search the center one, search the center crate. The only crate that have a search option are the crates with straw on it. Just keep searching the center crate until you have a veil wheel. You need to have four veil wheels. Alright, when you have your four veils, let's go southwest. 
and let's go to the southwestern corner and search that crate with has, that has straw on it just south of the stairs keep searching it and in this crate we should find a colored ball we will also need four of those so keep searching that crate until you have four color balls alright when you have your four balls let's go a little bit north and search the crate that is behind the stairs in this crate we should find metal sheets we will need to have three of those alright when you have found your third metal sheet let's climb up the stairs to the second floor and then go north to the northern wall and there will find a pressure machine which you can fix click on it to fix and select the first option yes to construct and now you will need to fix the holes in the four pipes and there are balls in the pipes which can fix the leak we can put the balls in the holes by adding and releasing the water pressure in the pipes so first let's pull down the left lever then turn the second valve left twice you will now see that the leak has stopped and there is a color ball in the pipe now let's turn the second valve all the way right until the pipe is completely filled with water next pull the right lever down I will need to turn the fourth valve right three times until we have a leak then turn it left once so the ball is now in the hole and then turn the fourth valve right twice again so the pipe is filled next lift the right lever back up and now let's turn the third valve twice to the right so we have another leak pull it left once and then just keep pulling it right until the third pipe is filled then lift the left lever back up then turn the first valve wheel to the left twice so the ball is now in the hole and then just keep turning it right until the water is to the top wait a second the machine will close itself the interface will close itself you will get the message that the machine is working click to continue and let's go back downstairs downstairs let's go to the southern wall we will find two boxes with straw on them we will need to search both of them we will need to have four binding fluids and five metal sheets so let's keep searching these crates for four binding fluids and five metal bars When you have your 9 items, let's go to the eastern wall, back to those 3 crates. We will now need to search the northern one. In here we will find some rivets. We will need to have 6 rivets.
All right, when you're done searching, two squares northwest, you'll find another crate with throw on it. Search that crate until we have five pipe rings. Then four squares west of that crate with the pipe rings, search that crate and here you should find four regular pipes. You will need to find four of these uh, regular pipes and this will be the last item that we will need. Alright, when you've found the last pipe, let's go upstairs to the second floor. Go east and let's go up the stairs to the third floor. Then go south and fix the machine on the southern wall. Click to continue. Yes to construct. Click to continue twice and we'll now have this new interface. Now we will just need to collect the branching pipes to these uh, pipe endings. Let's select the first one by clicking on it so it turns green. Then rotate it twice. Now we just need to move it left until the uh, bottom is connected. Then use the uh, other arrow keys so that the big piece has connected to the bottom one and the third pipe ending. Next let's uh, select the smallest pipe. Also the big piece is the only piece you will need to rotate so do not rotate anything else. When you have this small piece let's turn it all the way left. You will need to connect this one with the second pipe ending. Let's take the T-pipe, the pipe on the top, and let's turn it all the way uh, left as well. Let's move it all the way left and let's connect it with the, the first pipe ending. Alright, now we just need two more pieces. Let's select the one underneath the closing, the large bend pipe, and let's uh, pull this one. Let's move this all the way down. Connect this with the uh, bottom pipe ending of the big piece. And then select the junction pipe, the last one, and just move this and connect this with the fourth pipe ending. Just wait a second and you will get a message and the interface will be closed. Alright, let's now go northwest and climb up the ladder to the fourth floor. You'll find a cage in the center. Click on it to fix. Yes, construct it. Click to continue. You will now have this interface. You will now just simply need to place the bars which are uh, marked in red. First click on the square just next to the word vertical and a pipe will appear on this piece of paper. Now enlarge it by clicking on the plus symbol once. Then click on the square just above the place bar. And I will need to do this for this entire cage. Let's take a horizontal pipe. Make it size 3. Place the bar. Select another horizontal. Enlarge it, make it size 2, place bar. And let's now rotate the cage left once using the arrow keys just beneath the cage. Then let's select a vertical one and make it size 2, place the bar. And then a horizontal bar, size 2, place bar. Another horizontal bar, size 2, place bar. Rotate the cage left, 
then we need a vertical of size 3, place the bar, another vertical of size 2, place bar, and now a horizontal one of size 4, place the bar, rotate gauge left once, now we'll need a horizontal one of size 2, place bar, a vertical one of size 4, place bar, and another vertical one of size 2, place bar, and now just wait a couple of seconds and your uh, interface will be already closed. And I will need to talk to Effigy, so let's climb down the ladder. And just climb down the two stairs, go back outside, and I return to Effigy. So open the tower door, return west of the tower, talk to the uh, guy with white hair, keep pressing the spacebar and we'll find and we'll see a fade out. When a fade out is done, let's go back inside and we'll now need to go to the top of the uh, Tower of Life where we've just fixed the gauge. So climb up back to the top floor. And once you have clicked on the ladder, you will see a cutscene that will take approximately one to one and a half minutes long. Alright, when the cutscene is over, let's go back downstairs and talk to Effigy outside of the tower once again. Alright, after the conversation is over, he will ask you to deal with Homunculus. Let's go back to the top of uh, the Tower of Life. Open the door, return to the uh, Homunculus. And now it's time for our quest. So let's go back upstairs. Right click on the cage and talk to Homunculus. Now you will need to answer a couple of questions. There are three possible answers. An answer that will increase your World of Magic bar and an answer that will increase your World of Logic bar. And there's also a third one which is the pessimistic answer and that will just do nothing. You will need to fill up one of the two bars. It doesn't matter which one. All the questions and answers are the same for every player and also have the same order. So I will give you both the logical and the magical answer. You will just need to give seven answers of the same kind and then we can go to the final part of this quest. So for the first question, the magical answer is option 2 and the logical answer is option 1. For the second question, the magical answer is option 2 and the logical answer is option 3. For a third question, the magical answer is option 1. The logical answer is option 3. For the fourth question, the magical answer is option 3. The logical one is option 1. 
For the fifth question about travel, the magic answer is option 3, the logical answer is option 2. For the sixth question about potions, the magical answer is option 1, and the logical answer is option 2. For the seventh question about runestones, the magical answer is option 1, and the logical answer is option 3. Now when you've answered 7 logical or 7 magical answers in a row, keep pressing the spacebar and the homunculus will now ask you to talk to effigy once again. So let's do that. Climb back downstairs, go back outside and talk to effigy. This will be the final time for us to talk to Effigy, and once you talk to him, we should see a short cutscene. Just keep pressing the spacebar until the cutscene is over. Next, the three NPCs in purple have disappeared. Let's enter the Tower of Life to complete our quest. Let's go to the southern wall, to the dungeon mark on your minimap. Next, to the crates with stray, you will find a trapdoor. Open it. Climb down. And in the basement, just go north. And you should see already the Eumunculus, the only NPC in this basement. Let's talk to him and complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Tower of Life quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 1000 construction, 500 crafting and 500 thieving experience. Also access to creature creation. I will put a link in the description of the RuneScape Wikia page of creature creation and what kind of creatures you can summon in this basement to get all sort of items. It is very helpful for Iron Man to collect secondaries for Herblore and also for non-Iron Man for some money making. Now this was my guide how to complete the Tower of Life quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.